Hey Crammers, hope all is well. If you're still feeling a little worried about this upcoming Python exam, please check out the Python Cram Kit. It's, it's seriously your easiest way to pass the exam with ease because it teaches you how to answer those extended response questions properly and then get that grade that you want on your exam. So check it out. Um, but in the meantime, let's learn about concatenation here. So what is concatenation? Um, the best way I can explain this is with an example from my childhood, and I'm so guilty of this. I would always use, do this as a kid. Um, you know, after the holidays, my mom would say, okay, you gotta write thank you notes to the relatives. And I would sit there with all the thank you notes and basically write the same message to each relative, but just replace their name. And I'm so guilty of that, it's a terrible thing. But as a kid, you know, I was concatenating my thank you notes. Because concatenation, what it is, is combining variables and strings to create one complete message. And in my case, my variables were my relatives' names and my strings were the message that each relative received, the same exact message I just templated on each thank you note. So how do you code concatenation in Python? To do this, we're gonna write a little program that emulates the thank you note writing scheme that I used to run. So essentially, we're gonna start first with an input function. It's gonna ask our user who they're writing the letter to, and we're gonna assign that value that they enter to the variable called address to. That's gonna contain the name that we're addressing the letter to. So now that we've got that, we need to start with our concatenation. And I'm gonna actually give you the answer here and then explain how I did it. So here's how we could properly concatenate our greeting. So we start with dear and then address to and then a comma at the end. The first question you're probably asking is what's up with these plus signs, right? This is actually where the concatenation is taking place. And I want you to just think of the plus signs as glue. Imagine that we have our ideal greeting of dear so-and-so, right? The, the empty line at the bottom representing this, the name of the person we're addressing the letter to. And imagine that we just snap it in half. And in the middle place that desired name that we're addressing the letter to, the plus signs act as a glue that combined the broken string with the variable that contains our desired name. So I want you to think of those plus signs as glue. Um, another question you're probably asking is, what's up with the extra space after dear? Um, in this case, imagine that address to equals David. We're writing a letter to David. If we didn't have the space there, our greeting would end up looking like this, and it, we just, it looks weird. We forgot the space in between separating dear and David. So include that space to make it look proper. And the same with the comma at the end. If we don't have the comma at the end, our greeting is not complete, and we can't you know, start the rest of the letter. So that's kind of the purpose behind each aspect of this concatenation example. When we want to incorporate this into our program, we're going to put this in our print statement. And now when we run this program and enter in David, our output properly says, Dear David, and we have our greeting. We've successfully concatenated our relative's name into our greeting. In the case that you want to see what the rest of the letter would look like, here's the rest of the print statements that would complete this letter so it matches you know, that image. Now that we've got an, an example of actually coding with concatenation, let's revisit the template. So it's string plus sign variable plus sign string. I want you to note though that it could be just string plus sign variable or variable plus sign string. It really just depends on the message, the dynamic message that you're trying to send to the user. I also want to point out that if you're concatenating a variable that is an integer or a float, you need to surround your variable with the string function. This is detailed more in the data types video that's linked right here, but the reason you need to do this is because you can't concatenate strings with integers or floats. You have to concatenate strings with strings. All right, with that being said, let's dive into a little practice problem here to solidify this concept. So, in a new Trinket file, create a Python program that asks the user for an input by asking, what's your favorite song? You should save their response as a variable. After they type it and press enter, their song should be printed like, insert song name is your favorite song in the output. So, you know, when I'm starting this program out, I want to start with the input statement asking for the user's favorite song. So I'm going to say, input, what's your favorite song? Now, this alone, remember, we are not remembering the user's inputted value, so we need to assign it to a variable. I'm gonna tell that variable favorite song. Okay, now that we've got that, we need to concatenate properly that final message. So I'm gonna start with a print statement here, and remember, it, that we wanna display our output as insert song name is your favorite song. So we're gonna start with favorite song, our variable, and then concatenate space is your favorite song. Now notice here that we kind of modify our concatenation template here because we're starting with our variable and ending with a string. We don't have a string on the beginning as well, but that's okay. This is still going to work because when we run it, if we enter in give me everything by Pitbull because Pitbull is the best, 
we get Give Me Everything is your favorite song. And of course it is because Mr. Worldwide is the best artist there is. Of course it is because Mr. Worldwide is the best artist there is.